theater means a chance to make new friends and to reconnect with old ones. But for some children, it also means facing bullies. KRCG 13's Garrett Berquist shows us how mid-Missouri kids learn to defend themselves while learning more about themselves in the process in this special report. Go! Go! Nine-year-old Caden Bailey has been coming to this karate class for about a year. I get to protect myself from bullies. Caden's mother, Oviara Oka, says she brought him here to learn how to defend himself. I was concerned because of his size about bullying and things like that. Luckily, because of Columbia Public Schools, they, they're really, really tight on that. So J.D. Rifkin says about half of his students enroll because they want to stand up to bullies. First of all, I ask them how... In what form are they getting picked on? Is it verbal? Are the people calling them names? Are they being pushed around physically? Federal statistics show 28% of students in grades 6 through 12 experience bullying. Of these, about a third report getting pushed or shoved. And nearly 30% report getting punched, slapped, or kicked. Quit. These kids are learning strikes. Yeah and throws they can use against an attacker. So he always has that in the back of his mind, and he's really, really kind of proud of that, that not only can he protect himself, but he, he also has a little brother. So he's like, oh, I can protect my little brother if he's in trouble. Rifkin says he teaches kids most of the moves he teaches adults. I'll obviously teach the physical skills of martial arts, how to you know, do a wrist lock and how to control someone, an arm bar, how to you know, get them off of you, leave them alone. But the other thing is how to do it without hurting them. But he says standing up to bullies is as much mental as it is physical. And here's the other thing that I tell kids. Are you strong enough? Do you have enough confidence to stand up for yourself verbally? To say, hey, leave me alone. Boca says she's seen Caden become more confident since he started taking classes. Bullying isn't an issue for him, but Oka says he has ADHD. Karate has helped him with that, too. He just blossomed. Um, I'm so proud of the progress he's made, and not only me, but all our other family members are just so impressed with, you know, every stripe he gets. He comes home, and he's, you know, jumping around, like, yes, yes, I did it, I didn't. As for Caden, he says he wants to go to a tournament and win a medal. Reporting in Columbia, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13. Many studios in mid-Missouri and around the country offer kids self-defense classes in karate and other fighting arts. With this story on our website, krcgtv.com, you'll find links to local children's self-defense classes. And you can hear more from Rifkin on what he tells kids who tell him they're being bullied. Well,